On September 10, 1988, Gilbert attained hurricane status. The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management issued hurricane warnings as Gilbert bore down on Jamaica, packing winds of 175 miles an hour. Then Jamaican Prime Minister Edward Siaga took to the airways and the streets, urging Jamaicans to prepare. By September 12, 1988, Hurricane Gilbert slammed into Jamaica as a Category 5 hurricane, packing winds of over 175 miles per hour. The eye was 40 miles wide and blanketed the entire island. In its wake, over 40 Jamaicans were dead. 80% of homes on the island were seriously damaged. Half a million were homeless and the island was without electricity for weeks. As a result of the extensive damage caused by Gilbert, the World Meteorological Organization retired the name in 1989. On the eve of the 33rd anniversary of Hurricane Gilbert, there is concern that many are extremely complacent about hurricanes and the need to be prepared. Instead, they are laid back in the presence of an active hurricane season and challenges due to COVID-19. Many anecdotal stories about hurricanes turning aside from Jamaica are also recounted. Move and shot. Elsa, move, Elsa. Elsa, 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 make them anxious and fearful. One thing that does not come back is time. We have to, as Jamaicans say, take sleep and mark death. We must learn from the past to prepare for the future. Put hurricane plans in place for your family. Prepare a bag with non-perishable food, water and medicine to last each person in your family a minimum of one week. Secure all important documents in a waterproof container. Your emergency kit should also have a battery-powered flashlight, radio, and solar-powered USB charger. If you can, make sure you have a portable or coal stove available. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Carol Francis.